I'm Brian Brush, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of building the inch and three quarter modified Minuteman bundle. The modified Minuteman bundle with 100 feet of inch and three quarter. So we're gonna define that 100 feet as our working length. The difference between a traditional Minuteman and a modified Minuteman is a modified Minuteman is strapped together. That keeps that bundle together, just like we talked about, for those times we're gonna break and take, long stretches. It also makes the deployment a ground-based operation. Minutemans are deployed on the shoulder of the traditional model. The modified Minuteman drops that bundle to the ground, popping the straps, makes our nozzle coupling and midpoints very quickly identifiable. And for the forward stretch, for the back stretch, just makes that a nice clean routine. So nozzle, 100 foot working length, and our straps to keep this bundle nice and taut. We're also gonna use a roof hook here as our measuring tool. Standard six feet makes it a real simple measurement. It doesn't matter which firefighter, their height, anything like that influence in the distance. We're going with a standard six foot hook. We're taking the nozzle to the tip of the six foot hook. We've got our straps down and we're just gonna start to build that Minuteman. Nozzle right here, bringing the folds down. This is where we have that six foot mark. Six foot down, six foot back creates a 12 foot section of hose. We're gonna go down and back again. 12 plus 12 equals 24. This is where we're gonna put our bi-directional pull tails. So if you're working off the back of an apparatus, you're just pulling it, you know, perfectly fine to just know where the nozzle is. By creating these pull tabs on the opposite side, this allows for a pre-connect where we can pull from either side. Locate the pull tails on the off side of the apparatus, deploy the bundle that way, locate the nozzle side on this side of the apparatus, pull it the other way. So we're going down and back again, two short, one long identifies approximately that midpoint. Now we're gonna bring those back. You see that we built the first 50, now we're building that second 50, it's following the pattern. Those two short in the middle, now we're to the second pull tab. Coming down. Working our way back. At this point, we're gonna finish off the bundle. When we're finishing off the bundle, we wanna make sure we leave a decent tail. You can see if I were to trap the tail here, we don't have enough to make the disconnect. So I'm gonna pull it away from that strap and just make sure that we capture it here. We have these straps oriented, the pull tab this side, we're gonna end up with it on the top. Handy thing about using these straps, we're gonna tuck them into the bundle. We're gonna grab this tab, create that space to where we can get our finger through it. And as we pull, we're cinching it down. You can see the tab stops at the top. Same as the nozzle, it's easy for that deployment, breaks it open, now we can go. Derek, if you'd catch that side. We wanna have the straps as close to the ends of the package as we can, so it's easy to deploy and grab from one side. The same side, same thing. Nice and taut, very close to capture that nozzle so it's not banging around as we go. We've now built the modified Minuteman. Again, there's various adjustments you can make depending on your apparatus spec, where you deploy it from, how the hose is set up, where your connections are. This is uh, the base to start, six foot, two bi-directional pull tabs, and a free tail.